Hey everyone, this is Raz, and in today's lesson, we will design a clock using Inkscape. So this lesson is actually a little bit advanced and is meant for those who are already familiar with most of the common tools and functions. We will be using the circle, the polygon, the Bezier, layers, a line, object to path, union, maybe break apart. So you should be familiar, familiar with all of these. And uh, if you are not, then just go back and then come back to this lesson. So yeah, let's get started. Um, let's see a few examples of clocks. So uh, there are many different styles you can go with and they're all very special but if you see most of them share some you know some common elements uh, usually they have a circular frame and they have uh, either numbers or other markers for the hours some are divided uh, with these corners some are just some some include the minute, some don't have the minute, um, and also and the, and finally the handles. So this lesson will be uh, 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 the way to start designing a clock, and it will come in handy and be useful when you when you want to develop your design uh, and make it more stylish. Uh, in you know, af you know afterwards so great well let's go back to Inkscape and first thing let's change the page size let's make it a little bigger so you go into file document properties and let's do this 300 by 300 and see that it's on millimeter and not pixel because this won't stay as a graphic, we want we will want to send it to the laser cutter. So again, it's file document properties and go ahead and do this before we move on. Okay, good. Now close it and let's add some layers in. So what did we say that we have? We said we have a frame and let's add another layer and let's call this minutes and let's add another one call it hours and add a final one let's call it handles so great go ahead and do this before we move on okay great um, now before we will add any geometry in let's put some guidelines and it will make the process a little bit easier so over here on the ruler you click and drag from both of them and if you want to center it out remember this is 300 by 300 so you double click and write 150 on 150 and let's lock that and go ahead and do that to the other one as well Great, great. So uh, let's put in our our frame, our circle. So yeah, just click, drag, doesn't matter how it looks like because we will set the dimensions right here. Let's, let's uh, make it 140 by 140. 
and set it to the center of the page. So go ahead and do that. Set the size in and position it to the center of the page. Great, and if you're done, we will move on. Cool. So now that we have now that we have our frame, it is time to add the hour markers. Or you know what? The let's I will show you a few ways. I'll start with the fast, easy, and lazy way to do this. And I will demonstrate this uh, with the by doing the minutes. So um, yeah, go to the layers and check minutes. Go ahead and do that. And select the polygon tool. And what you would do is you would start from the center. You click and drag while holding control with your mouse on one of the on one of the guides this is so you have more control where you see you see this you you, you want some some uh, control over where the corners will be now for every corner here and here it will make a dot later on so we don't want these ones so let's switch it to uh, regular polygon and let's make it 60 because we're doing the minutes right here great so I'll give you a little bit more time before we move on so you can get this ready like it is now again you start from the center click and drag while holding control with your mouse on one of the guides great so uh, with that selected, you go into extensions, go almost to the end, visualize path, and choose number nodes. Click that. Now let's put live preview and see what it gives us. Um, gives us these dots and some numbers. Doesn't matter. You can you can change it over here, but uh, we don't want the numbers actually. So let's make that a font size zero, and I think the ten is good for us. The ten pixel. Okay. Uh, so now we have this group. Okay. Wait. Now we have this uh, group. If we double click it, we can select each one of them and we can change the size and I don't know, the just to take all these dots and, and play with them. But so you see, this is this was really fast, but is very limited you can use these as guides for when you I don't know if you want to uh, create geometry that is based on this position you I don't know you create it uh, this was a bad idea excuse me uh, but you know you just uh, take these as a reference and align it align it to to the first selected uh, this is um, based on if yeah if you know the this align tool so you can work with that uh, and that was pretty easy you can do the same thing for the hours just switch it to 12 and and do that basically fast but but um, I think now is time to show you a more advanced way but can but can open up more possibilities and and get things a little bit faster uh, so let's go back to our examples and yeah I want we will do you know uh, um, a classic design so I want to add uh, a different geometry other than a circle so I will create one of these 
or you know just a bar uh, you know I'll just make it very simple for now and so what you would want to do oh this by the way includes more math and but it will be fine so so now for this part pay attention uh, check the hours so whatever we do is in the hours and and uh, let's duplicate it right click duplicate and click and drag while holding a control and a shift control and let's set it over here great now um, let's make this into a path and let's add the bars in so I will be doing this uh, on on this uh, symmetric axis we'll use this guide as a as a, an axis and sorry and I will create uh, a bar let's let's make it I don't know red okay So we have so okay. So we have the bar. Now um, let's say this was done over here. It's very important that this bar will be set aligned to the center of the page again. So great, we have this bar, and we have um, scaled down this uh, circle, and we want we will want to position. To position these bars all along this curve uh, spaced out evenly okay so we will need to do a few things we will we will want to know the the size the length of of this of this curve so go into extensions visualize path and measure path Great, let's open a live preview. Now we don't see anything. Let's make this larger. Okay, here it is. Click apply and close it. And now that we know the this is this is the length of this curve. Now that we know that the other thing we need to know is the is the width of of this geometry i will want to make this an even number so it will be easier for us later so i'll just make it an eight and again let's align it to the center sorry align it to the center great so if, so all right when we have these two we can we, we, we will do the following. Now, this is where the math comes in. So pay attention. Uh, in extensions, oh, it's in gen, generate from path, pattern along path. Uh, let's see a live preview of what we do. So um, it, it starts from here. That's what we can see. And it's on a single. So let's switch it to repeated. Okay, so we get this mess. And what we want to change is the space between the copies. We want the space between every one of them to be evenly distributed. So, so this is where the numbers come in. Uh, first, we have, the, we have the total width, which was 8. We take that and we will multiply it by the number of hand of the number of markers we have uh, along along this uh, curve so it's a times 12 so 96 now we want to subtract this number from the total length 722 minus 93 uh, dot 93 minus 96 
and and uh, finally we will divide it by 12. So let's see. Oh, this looks this looks pretty good, but you see it starts. It's not it's not in the center. This is because uh, th this is because it starts it starts from from here. But if but what we should do is use this tangential offset, and we would want to take it back by half of the width so it's centered so we will write a minus four great looks pretty good okay and let's go back to the layers and switch that off and that oh it was in frame so i will move this to the hours okay so look at so look so look at that um now if we double click it we can't change we can't change any one of these uh so what we can do is uh select all of them control a and go into path and break apart and now we have these separately okay let's see yeah and I would still uh, and, and I will choose all of them once again and group it so yeah yeah so now we have the minutes the markers I think we can uh, we can let this go and this go and yeah and now we can play around with with this and last thing is to add the handles but the handles we will we will want to um we will want to do this in another lesson because this has some mechanics and some uh uh it's a little bit more advanced if you want it to be working because it's a moving part um but let's just add this in for reference click the bezier and let's just add right, just add one here and one here and give this one I don't know four and this one eight so this is our layout so this is our layout and from here we can you know you can change the change whatever whatever element you're doing you can change it but this is a oops, this is a good way to start out your clock so i will leave you to it uh you you can now work on your handle sorry on your marker uh over here make it um try to work with uh not with a, a rectangle but with a um a different custom geometry and we will see next week what you've done so great thank you and see you